So this is the Ronin S. Uh, this is our first single-handed stabilizer. Uh, we have the dual-handed support system. We have the Ronin 2. We have the Osmo systems for mobile. Uh, so this is our first entry into the single-handed stabilizer. Um, so this is still a prototype, so there are still a lot of aspects that I cannot confirm uh, right now. Um, but we'll go through basic functionality. Um, so a lot of the functions are controlled through this trigger right here. Uh, so like on the Osmo, uh, if you hold it down, what it does is it locks the gimbal position to maintain frame. If you double tap, it recenters. So if you're off shooting, double tap, and it recenters. And triple tap, and what it, it does is it turns around completely. All right? So part of DJI's specialty, besides just creating gimbals, um, is these uh, joystick type uh, control. Uh, so right now we have a, a, a stub joystick, um, easy to control, super responsive. Um, you can set all different profiles in this as well. Uh, so if you want it to be slower, you want it to be faster, you can uh, set it all and control it um, uh, based on what you want. Um, this is one of our accessories. Uh, this is a master panel with a, um, a follow focus system. Uh, so as of right now, since it's a prototype, I can't say what cameras work um, with what. I know the GH systems, though, we have a lot of functionality, including focusing. Um, so you can control it all through here internally. Um, or if it's a manual focus lens, like the Sony over here, you can actually set up a follow, an external follow focus system and control it from here. Um, battery is built into this grip. Um, so when you go to recharge or swap batteries, you undo this hinge, and it all comes out. Uh, and I believe we're using a Manfrotto quick release as well. Set the calibration? Uh, so it's, it's like any other stabilizer where you have to calibrate it and balance it. Um, we do have a few things that make it unique. You know, it comes, it comes with a tripod that it's on a quarter 20, so you can unscrew it. Uh, but while you're balancing, it's a useful tool to, to set up and stabilize. Um, we do have an auto calibrate function too. So after you have the basic, um, basic uh, balancing done, you can hit the auto calibrate and it'll fine tune it. Uh, we also have motor locks. So essentially, if you need to do quick adjustments while you're out shooting, you don't need to power down the whole system. You can actually do it on the, on the gimbal itself without shutting it down, and it won't overheat or fight you. Uh, we don't have exact numbers. Um, as you can tell, though, it's supporting a heavy rigs already. Um, so I don't have exact numbers, but I can tell you that it's uh, uh, going to be class-leading in terms of what a single-handed stabilizer can support.